All right, I'm gonna give you the Falls Creek 5K race course preview. Um, so right away, we start down there, you'll see like the Watch Children sign. That's where we started. We ran up this way. Uh, no, it'll get, get better here in a second. So you got a nice hill to start the race. There's about, well there's three hills, maybe four during the race. Got some pretty good elevation. So again, right away, you're running uphill pretty good. So if you're not warmed up, your legs are really gonna burn. make this left still going uphill now this section here is the only real section that it's kind of skinny the rest of the roads that you're going to run on are going to be really big enough for more than like two vehicles at a time and if you notice or if you can notice you'll see the markings on the ground it's got arrows and it's got uh, with like a 5k marking so now we're finally peaking and going downhill for your first descent Do a quick little like Z pattern. Still going downhill right now. right and we're gonna make a big loop but you got a nice decent or er, incline right now so you got to switch gears real quick and do a quick turn and then it gets steeper So it is kind of a challenging course, but it's also, uh, what I want to say, different from like a lot of other 5K courses. It's also like being challenging is also a little bit fun. I guess we got lucky and the weather was pretty good for us today. Maybe on like a 90 degree day, it might suck a little bit, but it happens. So now we're descending again got this quick little turn she so just made one big loop now we're back on the direction we came in on
now you're climbing again a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so I lied. It is a nice little bump. There was a guy here with an aid station that you could probably hit uh, both times. Stupid squirrel. Now you're descending. So you can really pick up some speed in this section of the course. You might need it for what's coming. Now the markings were white arrows and had a little 5K underneath it. You really aren't gonna get lost. There's really nowhere to turn as long as you follow the arrows. Now at the stop sign here, I'm gonna pull a Yui. Right here at the end of the road, I don't know if you can see it, right beside the stop sign, it's the 5K turnaround. So that's what we did. We just turned around. So now we're going uphill. Got about a mile left into the race right now. And so you're going to be going uphill for the next couple of tenths. Your legs will burn a little bit right as you pass this red truck. As you see this hill, this is a nice climb on the way back. It's got a little bit of a bump to it, but there's no descent. It's still an up. It just levels off just a tad and again this is a, a challenging course but again it's also to me a fun course and we're going back up this big hill it's got a couple hundred feet of gain And again, a couple loops, some hills, some nice descents. So actually pretty good design course. But you're not doing some kind of, you know, flat rail trail type thing. It's giving you actually a pretty good workout. semi out and back I guess because you do fall back a little bit on the same route but the way he has it looped and mixed up you really don't feel like you're running the same uh, sections of the course at all it feels different the whole time so it's pretty nice There was somebody sitting here at this intersection uh, directing you as well. So you got a nice downhill to finish. And then where there's two ladies are standing right down there is their finish line. That will be your Falls Creek 5K race course preview. Again, it was a pretty fun course. Good awards, nice design and t-shirt. 
There's some good snacks afterwards. So if you get a chance, if he does it again next year or in the future, I'd definitely check it out. I think the course is designed pretty good from what you see in the video. Even though it might seem challenging, I find it a really good design course, so it gets my approval. Hopefully it gets yours, and hopefully you check it out and he does it again.